Hello everyone, we are jumping into another premiere draft here. I haven't drafted in a while, so my ranking is in the tank. Maybe we can try and raise it out of the gutter today just a touch by actually playing magic. I don't know. Turns out if you don't play, you drop ranks. Um, but yeah, let's jump into this first pack and see what we can do. Um, I do want to try and win. <laughs> and this pack isn't exactly what I was hoping for for a first pick. Uh, three steps ahead is fine. It's a very strong card. It's very strong, but most of the time it's a three mana counter spell or three mana draw to discard a card, um, which is fine in and of itself, but um, it has to be very late game for you to get all the value off of that. Uh, somebody asked for me to do a state of the format, and uh, I kind of jokingly told them, well, I, I tend to just soft force green or black in the first pack, which makes Tyrant score. You know, maybe a risky pick because it's blue and black. So I actually think I'm going to force the snakeskin veil here as pack one, pick one to try and cut green and uh, reward it into a loot. I think loot's good. I am more than happy to be in teamer. Uh, usually I'm splashing the blue and I'm looking to be green, red base. Uh, passing up a prairie dog for it, though, is uh, hard to do, but... I like loot enough and a little bit punished here. Bruce Tarl is third pick, shouldn't, shouldn't really be here. There aren't too many cards you would take over it. I'm gonna slam this one. Ugh. Okay, this is a very tough pick. I want the Oasis. Uh, the land is very good for loot and kind of on theme. Uh, Badlands Revival is just a very, very strong card, but Trash the Town is single color. Take Trash the Town. I think it's just safer. And I don't mind having at least one copy in every deck I run that has green. Obviously at the moment we're kind of leaning towards a green base. Uh, I'm going to lean towards having red as a secondary and maybe splashing blue and white for loot and Bruce um, is where my mind is at. But yeah, in general in this format, I think uh, pack one, pick one. If you can go towards black or you can go towards green, I think you're doing yourself a big favor by leaning those directions early and seeing how it pans out. Um, and likewise here, I mean, these are very good um, black cards. Lozav is certainly very strong um, in the blue-black crimes deck. Also, Robber is phenomenal in the set. Three mana normally to plot, and then next turn you usually use a removal spell, and then you end up getting a 4-3 and a 2-2 two -two for three mana, but... Um, I'm going to take the Tumbleweeds Rising to stay on green and keep cutting green as hard as I can. I really do think in this set you want to cut green or black as hard as you can and try and pick one. Um, Mine Raider is not exciting here. Could take Bovine Intervention instead since we already have Bruce. But uh, like I said, I kind of want to be a red-green base so that we can keep both splash options available. I mean, Phantom Interference is probably the best card. Uh, you could take the Sentinel or the Quill Charger. Um, I'm going to take the Quill Charger just as a large threat, but you could take the Sentinel here. Okay, I'm happy with the Mirage Mesa. Uh, Ranch has no synergy in what we're doing so far. Scorn Wheeling, I almost first picked it. Um... I don't think it's for us though. Jailbreak Scheme or Fool's Fall. I guess I'm gonna take Fool's Fall in case we get a Dock and end up a Teamer. Into a Phantom here or a Peddler. I'm gonna take the Peddler because like I said, I really do want to be Red Green Base and Peddler's loot on ETB is not nothing. I'm gonna take the Lizard. I don't think we'll play it, but if I don't have enough playables, I am more than happy with putting a lizard at two drop slot. It does stop up the board. I'm going to hedge on surprise now. Um, it's not as good as Badlands, obviously, but pick 12 surprise is uh, pretty insane. Buzzards filler. I 
Okay. Come on. Something good. That's something good. This is not good. Port Razor was actually in my pre-release pack, and I did not play with it, even in a pre-release. Uh, Selvala, on the other hand, is quite good. Especially if we're playing a lot of creatures. We're already splashing for Bruce. Uh, Savala is good too, and we might even just be cutting the blue now uh, and going into Naya instead of looking to be Teamer. Yeah, I mean, creature heavy deck. Try and go wide. I want some group pumps. Uh, oof. Okay. <laughs> Uh, that land is kind of perfect, but am I disciplined enough to take the land? I think the summoner is better. Bruce and Savala are both four power, same with Quill Charger. So we'd have a good turn afterwards to get four power on the board. I'm going to take the summoner over the land. It hurts though. Okay, that's a group pump. Uh, definitely now leaning towards Naya. Um, it's not my favorite group pump, but it definitely works. Uh, the 3 4 flyer in white that puts a 1 1 counter somewhere is decent, but I actually think I just need an earlier play and maybe take the Mine Raider instead for just a 3 drop. We're a little heavy on the top end at the moment. So for curve reasons, I'm going to take the uh, raider. Okay. Oh no. I was going to say, let's slam this land. Uh, but I don't think that's the case anymore. We have a derailment here. Yeah, we're pretty light on removal. Uh, I'm going to take the derailment over the land. But... It does hurt. Love if one of the two lands that are Naya wheel. Okay, there's a betrayal of the vault. Um, I think the brute's just better in our deck. So I'm gonna take the brute. This is a mercenary. Yeah, let's go with that. Ooh. And he joins up is spicy here with Savala and Bruce Tarl. Uh, another peddler for a rogue. So that we can ramp easier. We don't need the lizard anymore. Moving the rising over. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Huge wheel. One of the lands wheeled. We just need one of the two. If they both wheel, great. If they don't, uh, one is plenty good enough. Um, the current lands we have, we can run a, uh, 666 mana base and not worry about it too much. So I don't really need to pick up a land anymore. Uh, Ankle Biter or Rising? Actually, you know what? The Vile Smasher is pretty spicy here. Um, if we're making a bunch of mercenaries with Savala, it could pop up for a lot of damage. And we already have a lot of mercenaries. Let's hedge on it. Um, yeah, I mean... It's just a hedge, but I don't think our black is terrible. If we get some more fixing, it's possible to run four color here. But until we get the more fixing, it's probably not going to happen. Town Folk is fine for a three drop if you need one. It's fine. Okay. I can work with a tumble wag. <laughs> uh... I think we're still a little light on removal, and that tether looks great, but uh, Tumblewag is so good. And taking a good threat over the tether is, is right, so Tumblewag it is. Okay, good stuff here, good stuff. Uh, buried in the Garden or Varmints. We actually have a decent Varmints deck uh, with the pump from our mount as well, but... We are light on removal and Buried in the Garden checks all those boxes that we need. So I'm going to take Buried over Varmints, but I'm kind of sad they were in the same pack. Wow. Okay. I think uh, Bruce Tarl is amazing. Uh, Great Train Heist is also incredibly good. 
this card just wins the game. So it's really, do I want a second Bruce Tarl or do I want my first Great Train Heist? I'm going to go a second Bruce Tarl. That was a gift. Um, Annie joined up with Bruce Tarl. Getting two triggers is just too good to pass up, even though the other spell was fantastic as well. So back for more here. Um, if we want to keep entertaining Black, but it's getting a little late for Black fixing. That land would have to wheel as well. Um, Grizzly's safe. Derailment's better. Uh, really, it's between the Derailment or the Varmint, in my mind. I actually kind of want to take the Varmint here, as it's a creature and removal. And now that we have Tumblewag, like, I want things to put 1-1 counters on and tack in for 3 on turn um, 3. So... Varmint seems like a better take, as it can be removal and also a creature, but derailment would have been fine as well. Um, but just because we have Tumblewag, I'm just going to lean towards having creatures earlier. You could take the Gardener or the uh, Betrayal of the Vault here. I think we're just so light on removal, I want this Betrayal. We don't have a naturalist deck. Um, it would still be fine, but we don't have a deck for it. And I don't think splashing for black is really worth it anymore. I'm just going to take a town folk. Probably won't run it. But if I have to, this is what the deck's looking like at the moment. Doc's a little late to the party. I've given up on Teamer a long time ago. Let's just take another uh, Key Keeper. I think Key Keeper is really solid. It's another Mercenary for our Mercenary count early play, and it can be kind of interactive removal. Same with Riku, a little late. Uh, derailment's a great pick eight, though. I'm not, I'm not going to complain when we get a Derailment. Wow, okay. Land or Tether. Like I said, our land's fine. We can have the 666 base already, so I'm just going to take the tether for more removal. And, uh, rare draft here. <laughs> uh, I'm probably not going to play any of these cards, but I guess there's a small world where I play Reach for the Sky. Probably not, though. Little heavy on our fours. This isn't very good in our deck. We don't really have huge creatures to copy. Um, yeah, reach for the sky would be the cut probably at this point. Ooh, second veil. That's very nice. Baron also has synergy with uh, Savala as well. If we wanted to still entertain going for color, but I just don't think we need to. Um, yeah. Fun Naya build here. Okay. Um, we have the 677 base. Nice even distribution. Two cuts. It's probably going to be a raider and reach for the sky. That's probably the deck. But is two snakeskin veils too many? I do have creatures I want to protect because I can't recur them. But maybe we're better off with just another random three drop than two veils. Maybe I want the mine raider number two. Or the town folk. Raider gets us up to brute and past it faster though. Like that. No. I like double veil. Uh, okay. Let's run it. Okay, it's a keeper. The uh, peddler is going to help out. 
Um, if we don't find a planes, I will probably ditch the key keeper. Okay. That's good. It's fine. They're on the uh, self mill plan, obviously. Good, they didn't even hit a creature. Let's lead on the uh, getting the white source online, even though it means that the derailment can't happen. And um, yeah, I'm willing to attack. Okay. Oof. That's good too. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to do this first, even though we're missing out on Savala value. Nice. We get to untap. That's insane. Land off the top would be great. I'd feel so good about that. Nice. Okay. Um, yeah. So... I can safely attack with Bruce. And his ox. Let's see what we hit. Not a very good hit. Bruce is very good at hitting not good hits in my uh, experience. <laughs> uh, we would need a land off the top to be able to play it. I guess Svala would also do it. Mm, this is fine. Do I care about that? No, I'd rather protect Savala and Bruce, I think. Let's go here. Why does it want to leave open red? like seeing that. Oh no. This is why we held. Yeah, and they're off it. Okay. It's fine. A little slow, but it's fine. Okay. Would love like a turn three play here. That's sort of counts, I guess. <laughs> um, this is super awkward. I'm gonna lead on the raider. Um. I'm not going to run Bruce Tarl out until I have Snakeskin Veil held up. That's fine. Ok. 
Good. The man is tapped. I won't be able to protect it, but I'll at least get the trigger and hopefully it'll be a land. Another terrible hit. Like, Bruce, come on. Come on, Bruce. Awful. I'm gonna try derailment over garden? No, I should try, well... Garden does get me to five, but let's just do this instead. Garden's more important. Yeah, so if they counter this, I'm less in the hole. If they counter bury in the garden, I'm hurting a lot more, so that was my reasoning. I have mana open again. I think I'm just going to lead on vermin. Good. Uh, pretty miserable. Uh, like the brute. Let's go here. Flyer. <laughs> I mean, take trash to town. Find them. Yep. I can't afford for that to be put back. Uh, I'm gonna have to save it. They're still gonna be able to hit for a lot here, but... My hope is to draw into any creature here. It's not it. Oh boy. Uh, really need a creature there to help stabilize. It's okay though. Sort of does it. Let's hope this lands. Good. Oh man, it's all of them, right? So I'm gonna have to chump no matter what. It's pretty much game. Yeah, there's no reason to cast the veil. It's gonna chump anyway. Doesn't do it. Just another chumper for this turn. Or not. Alright. They win. I think I could have played that a little differently, but... Yeah, I don't know. Need to draw not a land on that one turn. It's fine. Let's 
good. Okay. Um, I'm probably just gonna kill that now with the derailment. I can't really block it anyway, not profitably. Put an end to their scrying. Okay, um, I'm gonna lead on summoner. Uh, because the raider will then get a treasure token so we can start casting Buried in the Garden and Salvala. Leaving open Skin Veil here, obviously. I won't block though. I don't want to put myself in a position where I have to use my trick before they could possibly use removal. So, it blocks. I mean, again, I could use the trick to give it four power, but it's just too risky. It's okay that I'm missing a trigger. Okay. Uh, well, as much as I'd like to do all of that, I think I do need to use Buried in the Garden first. Just to ensure that I apparently have a white source here. Let's get rid of the double striker. I can't protect Silvala if I play her out, but then I have the mount next turn anyway. 4-7 should be good enough on this board. Even if they kill a 4-5 this turn. Hmm. Okay. Eight. Um, it's fine.
Interesting. Okay. I like it. Let's get draw. Uh, let's lead here. And then we can hold open uh, Veil. Or we can go here. Let's just go with the bigger creature. Um... Nice. Mm, they're drawing a lot of cards. It's annoying. It does give indestructible. But... He'd have to tap it to give it indestructible. We have the veil to protect our creature. So if we do this, we have lethal, right? Because they're going to have to respond and then we'll be able to blow them out with snakeskin veil here. So let's go for it. If they want to save the tycoon, they have to tap it anyway. It's good is gone for purposes of this game. Oof. That will not work. GG. Okay. Oof. It's Baymax. Chart hand looks fine. Uh, Peddler is going to probably loot away our six drop if we can't hit lands here. Yep. Hoping that would be a forest. That's okay though. Okay, that does feel bad. A uh, tumble wag would be really gross, but that's all right. It's fine. I probably will derail that just to use my mana for the turn. Uh. Well, I don't know. Yeah. Being mana efficient is just better here. Keep my 2 2, keep swinging in. Land. Any land at this point, really. Would be great. And he joins up, it's going to be stellar with Bruce. I do want to land that before I land Bruce. Um, yeah, we can't... I don't want to do that till we can get Bruce going, so like Tumblewag not protected? It's probably gonna die, but it's the best I can do here. Gonna put it on the peddler. <laughs> oh. Good thing we put it on the peddler. It's 
fine. Probably have removal for Tumblewag as well. It's fine. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna Annie joins up this uh, cow. <laughs> Feels bad. But I think double trigger on Bruce ETBing is more important, probably. All right, we need to uh, find an answer to that. Varmints in particular. I can't protect this, but I'm going to run it out anyway. Okay, at least that drew us too closer to getting to a land. <laughs> a little ridiculous there were no lands in that draw. Uh oh. Oh, that's fine. Okay. Where are my lands? <laughs> Jeez. I mean, I kind of need to double Key Keeper this turn. But I also want to hold up in Snakeskin Veil. I guess we're going to go for the double trigger. There's the lands. They're gone. Um, I mean, obviously, if they block correctly here, there's nothing we can do about it and we'll lose Bruce, but uh, if they block just minimal, we'll be able to get them with Snakeskin Veil here as a trick. Okay, they're tapped out, so this is safe. Uh, I am going to do this to save Bruce. Um, they use a removal next turn. Well, okay. We at least got to eat three creatures. Um, it's less mana efficient, but I think I just need to go with the Key Keeper. Just for the value. We can get a treasure off the Mine Raider next turn. Yeah, I need to play this. Kind of be able to gain five life by attacking with that. It's a little annoying with the mercenaries. <laughs> uh... Yep, that was probably the best card they could have for that situation. Getting an Ox plus Bruce. I do need to block this. Uh, I can't afford them to just gain 5 swinging for 5 every turn, so... Um, yeah. Need that Varmint. That is not it, but at least it's a land. So for board presence, I think I actually just double spell here. Up town folk as well. I'll start getting value off of my chump blocks with that. I'm not going to block with the 2-2. Two -two. Another lifelinker. Lucky hit. I think the lifelinker has to be best for them. Better than even the trample. Yep.
Nice draw. Okay, now we have the veil to protect it as well. Double trigger. There's our varmint. Okay, very cool. Uh, we won't be able to cast the brute probably, but hey. Uh, I'll be chump blocking with my key keeper here, I think. Anyway, hey, the varmint's perfectly acceptable. This will be the last turn they get one of these people. That's the worst of the ones, which is good. That's fine, I'm gonna let them do that. If they have a follow-up play and they want to waste it on Bruce, I'll skin then. Nice. Yep. <laughs> it is a good game. I don't think there's a really nice response to that, so I'm just not gonna say anything. Like, if I say good game back, it sounds rude. Like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what you're supposed to say in that situation. I am just gonna pop off the uh, merriment right now. Like, no hesitation. And, uh, yep, just with this one. Get to eat everything except for a 1-1 one, one if they, uh, want to go for a trade here. They did not. Ooh, and they've bricked. Good, 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 good. Okay. Even better. Uh, a little risky to go for the portrayal at the vault. We can do that at instant speed based on how they block those. So let's just attack in with Bruce and Town Folk. See what they do. Trash the Town is definitely a scary card to see that I can now cast. Uh, okay. Well, I guess I'm going to do this, because it's free. Let's do just trample. I don't want to get too greedy, so let's just trample and draw cards. We'll do it both here, in case they have removal still. Okay. Nice. Oh, pass. Ah. Okay. A little punish. That's okay, though. Um. I think I want to go for derailment now. Just. It means I'm not leaving with my tapper, but I want to go for it now. It's still going to trigger, though. Like, Bruce is still dead from this assassin. Okay. Alright. Well, we forked their last card. It was take up the shield. Um, they're going to gain six, deal six. So we're going to trade life totals. A little annoying. The tapper would have been better here. But, uh... Still have two more removal spells. I mean, I don't have two exciting targets, but if they're only left with two one ones and I swing in for ten now, they're at six. I mean. I guess I'll just go for eight, get them halfway there. I'm gonna go for this. Very nice. Okay. Um. Yeah. Okay. 
that's not quite good enough. Ping for one. Uh, they're gonna have to block my town folk. They can't double block anything, so this is gonna be a chump. Chump, chump. They'll probably just do one chump here and leave a one one. not really a good block here. I think they should just chump the town folk with one, take four. But even then, like, it's not looking great. Yep. I mean, I'm just gonna go for it. Probably worst case scenario. I mean, at least they had to do it as a blocker, but yeah. Uh, it's unfortunate that it had to be a trade. Let's go again. <laughs> well, luckily they're, uh, they're only at five, so they do have to trump the seven seven. But, uh, they are really extending this game. I won't do it. Oh, okay, perfect. Oh, I was about to say that's just another chumper. But, uh, now we'll close it out. Right now. Oof, GG. That was, that was a game. That was a game. Alright, we are officially climbing out of the gutter by 1%. Keep climbing. This is fine. <sighs> Again, I, I kind of want to play Annie's joins up before Bruce. Perfect. That uh, that takes care of that. One more land would be fantastic, so that I can play uh, Bruce after Annie and hold up in Skinvale. Ask and you receive. And our opponent's on a slow start. I love it. They need to play a creature here, though. I'm going to kill whatever they play. That's fine. I will do 5 damage to a 3-1. <laughs> Feels a little bad, but... Uh, that is definitely where I'm at. Great turn next turn. annoying. Okay, let's go here. Trigger, trigger. Want like at least one ox here. Oh boy, it begins. I'm sure they have another removal spell after this. Works. I got one ox and I drew into a tumble wag. I think that's fantastic. Uh. It's fine. Let's go here. Um, yeah. And I'll swing in. Let's just play out the uh, summoner. Let's 
that's fine. Gonna be able to blow them out with uh, Trash the Town. We won't get 3-1 in addition, but I think the uh, surprise factor of Trash the Town's way too good here. It's fine. Nice. Wow. Okay, we do need to protect the summoner uh, with the veil, but... Yeah, we can still do two of the options here. It's probably good enough. Okay. Um, in that case, <laughs> we'll just do these two and not have to do the trample which is great because we were going to miss out on a little bit of value there no matter what but now we don't let's do this mountain a little bit of a flood on my end I do need to draw into a few more spells uh, I'm not too concerned with the snakeskin veil in hand. Uh, I'm not going to save that. Because if I save it, then I don't have a good attack with my summoner. But they're tapped out. They'll probably try and trade with the summoner and the hustler, I'd imagine. Since it's the only way for them to trade on the board. Go ahead and lead here, get our treasure, and yeah, here we go. Nice. I'm more than happy about this. Uh, yes, it can still die to a removal spell, but it's making them use that removal spell on it, and I get to eat their creature, so it's worth That's a good one. Okay. This game is not over. Luckily, they're in a precarious spot where I don't feel like they can attack. It was not the draw I needed. Okay. Well. Yeah, we just sit tight. Fantastic draw. Okay. Little risky. Obviously, if they have removal here, uh, this doesn't work. But at least it gives me a good attack. Like, if they play a card out of their hand, this isn't going to kill the Stinger Back Terror here. Nice. Great. Look, we have a number. We have a number. See what happens when you actually play magic? Oh, it's back to 9-9. I don't love this tar hand, so I'm gonna turn it in. This one's quite a bit better. Uh, I think I actually need to get rid of Annie joins up. 
um, and keep everything else that I can actually cast. Hopefully we'll have a turn three tumble wag here. Um, yeah, this hand has just a little bit more power than that previous hand. The previous hand was okay, it just didn't have any oomph, and I didn't want to keep a hand with no oomph in this set. Like, y you want your start hand to be pretty good, if you can help it. Uh, because the start of games uh, are pretty important. So, we're gonna have to ditch a card here. I'm gonna ditch uh, Trash Town. Good. I just want to keep both removals, because I think if I go Tumblewag, removal, 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 like, we can't lose, so... So just lead on Summoner and then make Summoner into a 4-4 with Tumblewag the following turn. That could be a better line. Nah. Well, maybe. Yeah. I actually like this better. Um, it's less of a target this turn if they have removal. And uh, if they do remove it, they're not getting the Tumblewag at least. Okay. Um, four five is pretty fat. <laughs> uh, hmm. Guess we'll chill. Just gotta do this though. I see. Okay. I was wondering why they were attacking with their 4-5. Um, obviously they can replay it out. Oh, they didn't! Oh, man. Well, that was good for us. How many things could I safely attack in with here? Let's just go with Summoner. It would be too suspicious to do otherwise. Um, that's fine. Uh, they still have mana for, like, take out the shield, but still worth. Like, we're just gonna go for it. I don't have it. Okay. Cool. I will take three in the air. Believe we are crushing this race. Okay. Hmm. Let's do this. We'll put the counter here. We'll attack with all of it. We're gonna double the counters on the tumble wag. Uh, yep. <laughs> oh dear. Oh. Oh no. Alright. 
GG. Stuck with two battle tricks and no creatures is never fun. Okay, come on, let's get out of this percentage. <laughs> uh, this is fine, it's got all of our colors. Um, it's missing some oomph. Hello. Uh, green. Annoying. Uh, do I want to run a 2 2 into their removal? Probably. That way, if they don't remove it, the raider gives us a treasure and then the brute's even cheaper. No blocks. It's fine. Oof. That's actually pretty good, too. It's actually probably best to let them saddle the courser and then kill it. Or tap it down and leave both options open. Let's do that. I see. Well, they can't get value off of death this turn. Uh, they were smart. They didn't, uh, do it. Guess we'll just tap? Oh. Oh, that's right. A non-mount creature. I can't tap it. Okay, well. Yeah, we'll just derail it then. Okay. Uh... Brute's probably better than Raider at the moment. It's fine. Okay, I'll go get a card. It's probably a pretty good one. And the boom box. Uh, okay. Okay. This is awkward. So if I bury it in the garden, the boom box can blow up the land it's on and then get rid of it. Uh, I think my tether can hit artifacts. It can. If I tether the boom box, like... Doesn't seem very good. I guess I'm just gonna lead on town folk and see what happens and how the game progresses. Um, okay. Pulverizer is a huge problem. Maybe if I tether their pulverizer, they'll feel like they need to get rid of my town folk or something. This is just a very awkward position for me. Oh, 
should have gotten the boombox. Um, none of my creatures are big enough to deal damage equal to the power and actually betray the vault, the muscle. Also gets indestructible, so that doesn't really work either. So what's my line? I have to bury it in the garden and hope they never get a six land? Is that where I'm at? It's really bad. I guess that's what we're doing. I think I misplayed this. I should have just tethered the boom box and left the four or five. That was, I don't know, maybe greedy. Need them to brick on lands for two turns here. That's unfortunate. Okay, uh, small window of hope here. <laughs> no, we're just dead. We're dead in the air. Uh, Man. I think there was a better line. Tether the boom box. Then I can garden the Rakdos the first time around. Don't think the 4-5 is killing me that quickly. I don't know. I'll have to look back at it later. Felt like it was my fault though. I felt like I misplayed that. Oh well. I think I should get rid of that. It's just a lot of card advantage in a mana sink. Let's lead on Silvala. Nice. Untapping with Snakeskin Veils feels nice. I think they have a Phantom Interference, so I think I'm just going to move to combat first. And I actually think I just pass. Like, I could play out Bruce. There's no need. Wow, they passed again? Uh, yeah. Same thing. I mean, maybe they have a board wipe? I don't know. Uh, there's no reason for me to overextend when my opponent's just passing with infinite mana, and I have control of the board, which... You know, if I didn't have control of the board, I'd have to play something, but this is ridiculous. I don't, I don't even think I should do this. I guess... I guess it's safe to try and draw cards. Like, I'm not even gonna put 1-1 counters, though.
What is going on in that hand that they can't counter that? But they're leaving open all their mana. Like, what is going on over there? I guess I should just pass. Like, I could put lethal on the board, but I don't think that's worth. Okay. I'm, yeah, I'm just, I'm just going to play it like this. <laughs> I, I have no idea what to think about this. Okay. Okay. Uh. Well, we have two removal spells here, so I'm just gonna lead on this one and then see what they do. I don't know what that game was. take it though but <laughs> I mean sometimes when you're playing a counter magic deck the best thing you can do is have early board presence that's winning and do nothing else great hand let's go Fine. Probably just gonna lead on Raider over the tumble wag here. Get that treasure. I'll offer a trade. Nice. Good. Fine. Uh, again, I think it's best to offer trade rather than just uh, get rid of it. I'm going to offer a trade instead. And if they accept the trade, I'm taking it. If they don't, obviously I'm holding up in Snakeskin Veil. I have to have a throw from the saddle or something here. Removal inbound. Here it comes. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna say no to that. It's a good draw too. Now I will bury it in the garden this. So that we can have a really big attack here. Oh, sell two. Okay. I'm not gonna loot either. I, I want the summoner. Um saddle up. Can double it here on the trampler. Okay. Well, saddle the summoner. Uh, put a 1-1 one, one counter on the Peddler. I'm going to swing with all. And I'm actually only going to double the Tumble Wag. Yeah. 
G. Okay, that's a trophy. Is that out of percentages? I don't think it is. No! <laughs> I have to draft again? Uh, okay, well, I guess I'm drafting again. You'll get another draft this week. I, uh, it's near the end of the month, and I want to get out of the you don't play enough percentages and into a real number. Uh, so I'll just do another draft and win. That easy. I will see you next time. Thanks for your support, and I uh, hope you enjoyed Double Bruce Tarl deck. <laughs>